What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory Update 7, episode 41 Um, this episode, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but Yeah, let's run around for a bit, see what needs to be fixed Um, yeah If you guys missed last episode, there'll be a card up above for you to Uh, check out the last episode I did unlock the jetpack last episode, as you can see, I'm flying around a bit. I don't know why George is stuck in my stairs. Um, and we also did some work on this building across here, which is the rotor factory. We added some walls around it, did some aesthetic stuff. Uh... Yeah. Wait, so what? There's another something here. Oh wait, no, these are the ones that are going into screws. I just realized what it was. There's a factory that's mass producing rotors. Um Let's head back over to the hub. Uh, we're gonna check and see what research we have. What research we have in the MAM and in the... Main hub to unlock anything new. We are almost nearing the... Phase 3 research unlocked in the space elevator, which would be the last space elevator stuff. Um, which should unlock some stuff in the hub terminal. Uh, jump pads, not necessarily need to start, but we can do some stuff with that later on. Blueprints, could possibly unlock that. And gas masks, we should probably unlock gas masks, but we need to get the fabrics, which I don't think I have unlocked yet. Uh, hmm. Which needs mycelium. Do have some stuff in black powder, smokeless powder. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Got some stuff in quotes, you can knock the leg. Uh Oh yeah, we did unlock the Reba last couple of episodes. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Did unlock the radar tower and stuff. Harvest. Good go down, go down the Caterium tree and knock high speed connectors. Jen would be able to unlock new stuff. So... Caterium is an option. Uh, we do have a bit of required and stuff. Legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Harvest. Yeah, so we haven't actually harvested any of those. We, even though I know where to get it, it's um down the should be some in the cave where we found uranium a couple episodes ago when we were looking for quartz. Um, it's my explorer. I need to get my vehicle. I think it's across by the steel factory. Possibly. So when I got my explorer, I'm gonna head down to the cave that we found. Um, 
from a couple episodes ago when we get there i'm gonna see if there's any mycelium inside of there i know we're there before i even leave anyway i'm going to pick up some explosives in case we find any stuff that we have to blow up in the cave there's my explorer i know there was something wrong here Where are fuel? If they would just pass one of the truck stations and get fuel. Which I just realized I don't have any near me. I don't only one there. Okay. Oh wait, no, I have the one where the um where this thing is. I have to go for the train tracks. Yeah. And the train almost ran me over. Okay, nice. Funny. I just got refueled. Head to the cave that we found. There is some iron right next to the Rotus factory. Wait, there's other cave I found that I just saw there. Oops, almost blocked that pathway. Oh, hello. First we're gonna I should be in tier five. Add gas mass to the recipe. Really? I just select it. Oh there it is. Oops. Right, so we're gonna go into here and Unlock the sick uh, explosives. Um, I'll go here. Is it in here? Let's see it there. It's probably in the equipment bench. Yeah. Gas explosives. Unfortunately, we may not be able to automate this because it takes normal explosives, but it also takes the biomass. So we can automate it, but we can't fully automate it because we have to continuously be harvesting biomass, which sucks. Hmm. Did we ever create the zipline one? We're missing for that. The Zeno Zapper and some rotors, really? Okay. Interesting. So. Oh, yeah, we have fireworks. <laughs> So unfortunately we can't fully automate that uh let's go back into the mom and see what else we can receive because i know there was some other stuff the sulfur now oh, we need 50 plastic uh let's 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 go get the plastics, unlock that, um, other stuff in the mom. Um, I think for this episode, we're going to focus on 
as we're already doing that, we're gonna focus on unlocking some of the stuff we have available to unlock in the mom research tree. Just show them quick okay. Uh yeah. So all right, we got the plastics that we need. And we're gonna see if we can unlock the gas mask also. So this episode is all is gonna be fully focused on unlocking the mom tree for all the stuff that we have automated using them to unlock what we can uh, i need some rotors that was for what did i need rotors for oh that was the zip line uh we don't actually need okay then Right, as I was saying before that we had interruption in the background. Um yeah. Uh what was it gonna oh sulfur. Sulfur. There it is. This unlocks smokes this powder. Ooh, this might be one of the stuff we um automate in the coming episode search episodes. Did I just see what I think I saw? There's a cluster one. Okay, that can be automated. Nice. There it is. Guys, there it is. We officially have almost what we need to unlock the we almost have nuclear bombs holy shit we also have the ability to get the explosive rebar explosive rebar really really I now have some tense goals for the next couple ne upcoming episodes. Uber rifle ammo. Okay, so smokeless powder, black powder is actually a very nice um, line to go down. Get much of the frames and sulfur for that. Okay. Um, so, what we're gonna do now that I have a clear goal in front of me now, after unlocking some stuff, uh, do we have any other thing we can unlock in my. Uh, all needed fabric. This one needs. Um, can you please tell me what you need, my cilia? And um, okay, I can unlock that, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Uh, animal organs was the one that we didn't actually get. This can be unlocked, which allows us to be able to create the medical annealer. Six more inventory slots. Ew! My inventory is always full. Um, the ability to scan for enemies. Interesting. But I don't have the, um, I have the DNA points, but I don't have the, um, circuit boards unlocked yet. Not the circuit boards, what are those called? High speed connectors. So in order to get the ability to scan for the enemies with my scanner, I have to unlock this first. Which I can if I run down to the Caturium base and get some quick wire. Uh, well, I don't have to technically run there. I can just use the Hyperloop connection that we recently added a couple episodes ago. Which is to the top floor. 
Let's go. I think it's this one. Hopefully the right one. Yep. I need to add signs to these ones. They're the newest ones. To the oops, sorry for looking back. I have changed my trajectory. Um talking about trajectory, I also I'm in the works of making a KSP video. Uh, just trying to figure out the modern what mods I'm gonna use. I'm definitely gonna use some script and stuff. So in the works of figuring out what I'm actually gonna do. Plan is to have the that KSP series to be a bit of a realistic somewhat series focused on the spacex field of space why do i have that down there why am i down here this is the couple sheets i'm talking my butt off while not even watching where i'm running i went on the wrong place it's the other side jeez all this would not be operating right now because it fixed my sphinters before this is a quick wire what can I dump? You. Right, so there's a quick wire we needed. As I was saying, yeah, so the... KSP series is going to be focused on, as I was saying, the SpaceX side of space flight. Um, I'm just waiting for a couple of mods to either update or figure out how I'm going to implement mods together and trying to figure out the actual scripting language of a scripting plugin for KSP, which is KOS. I'm actually in the process of learning that scripting language. So... Once I think I'm, I fully understand that script and language, I am going to either build my own script or debug some other scripts, which I'm in the process of debugging one script for the Falcon 9. Uh, just remembered where I was going. Um, yeah, so once that's done and I figure out how I'm going to structure the series, I'm going to let you guys know on twitter when it's going to be released i do have some short clips i might post a bit of shorts on the channel of me thinking wrong in ksp and sometimes exploded into pieces so look forward to seeing some random shorts um i was gonna unlock criterium i was gonna unlock the this one breaking news from earth Chaos Which unlocks um, Mark 3 power poles. Oh. Can I unlock Mark 3 power poles now? The hell is that? Geo. Oh my god. Um, you can get geothermal generators. Harvest it. Damn. I didn't even know this existed. Holy shit, this mom just really feels so much stuff. Mm. Your contract legally compels you to harvest. We have honing bullets now. Like tracking bullets. Bullets that actually cook. Ah by brain. Comply. Like I've never actually gone in depth into the research tree. Imam that much in my other playthroughs, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing some of this stuff we can actually unlock. Hello, this what is the frick? I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. They have stunned. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Game, shut up in the background, please. We have stunned Reba. I think I just fall, fell in love with the game all over again. Comply. It was the other one that we was actually in the research of. Yeah, so for... 
Coffee said, please add a setting in the freaking option to mute that in the background, please. Please. If it's not there already, then I missed it. I need to... Sh shut up. Try to talk. Thank you. All right, so our first um, focus is going to be on explosive rebar. This is paternal figure. I have taken ill and so, need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. If you guys could really see my face right now. So we are first going to... Um, first we have to automate the production of smokeless uh, black powder and then the automation of rebar. Harvest. Um, so let's see what we need to actually create rebar and, and smoke powder. Smokeless black powder. Um, for this episode, after knocking all of this stuff, I'm going to try to see how close we can get to automating smokeless black powder. Which is actually not here. Okay, so we can't... So we can't create that by hand. Um, where's the... Just search those. There it is. Okay, so that takes black powder. Love this new search function, by the way. Black powder and two black powder and the heavy oil residue, which we do have from creating plastics and rubber. So we can run a pipe from of heavy oil residue. We can package it. What we need to do plastics. And then send a truck up there. Hmm. I'm contemplating on what exactly I'm gonna I think I should package the heavy oil residue though. I think the pipe is the um, best solution. Let's see how much heavy oil residue we are producing, which is going to have to be calculated into the equation on what we're actually going to build for the smokeless black powder factory which is going to be on the third floor of the black powder factory which already has a second floor which is where the black powder is actually created which the not the black powder where the explosives are actually created first floor is the um black powder second floor explosives third floor is possibly going to be the smokeless black powder okay so is this no that's not the pipe it's this one so how much we do have a full pipe we don't have a buffer tank on this to see how much we have in storage um pipes are so freaking finicky yeah, sometimes i want to slap these pipes so you know um we did do some changes which i can see it is backed up compared to before it was not backed up uh the reason why it's backed up it's because the fuel is backed up on the fuel line okay yes which is a good thing before we did not have the fuel backed up um so i am going to run across where's the little stairs i have here Keep jumping and forgetting that I have a freaking jetpack, you idiot. Unlock the jetpack for a reason. Alright, so I'm gonna run across the up there. First floor. And run across to the fuel factory, fuel generator factory. Now check there, see what we have that we can add to stop the fuel from backing up if we can use any methods to how is the fuel backed up why is the fuel line full and these tanks are not why 
That makes no sense. I'm not even using that much fuel. How is my burning the fuel so much that well this has fuel on top of this, so that's half of these fuel generators are not even on. Okay, so we just found an issue that maybe probably worked on in the next episode because this is a major issue. Why are my fuel generators not on and why is all the fuel stuck here? Is this pump capping out down here? It's not even running. The buffer tank doesn't have any fuel in it. Oh, for crying out loud, what the frig is going on with my fuel? The production area of the fuel. The pro production area, as I was saying. The production area of the fuel is not backed up. Well, it is backed up. So there is fuel stuck in the fuel line at the production area. But for some reason... It's fluid. Why is the fluid so low? Why is it so little? For some reason it's not getting to the fuel power plants and the buffer tanks which is a weird issue i'm not sure what's causing that with the fuel lines check here like here it doesn't have any fuel in there neither does here it is pumps on the line but for what goddamn reason is there no fuel or fuel flow in any of these lines, they're two big freaking mark two pumps on this line. It's just pumped the wrong way around. No, I don't think it's actually the wrong. Um, still doesn't explain why the fuel is. but then okay I try something we'll try a quick montage session where I'm gonna try hopefully it works I'm gonna try to fix the fuel issue we're currently having but if you is not get into the fuel plant um okay Really? I'm out of trouble. Give me a sec. <laughs>back from the bill montage um someone's literally going to slap me when they see this video so you guys know how i did not for some reason have fuel going to my fuel power plants and i just went around with a small short bill montage trying to put valves and stuff on figuring why the fuel wasn't getting there because i was producing fuel um freaking hell i just figured what it was when i turn around you guys want to slap me so freaking hard the goddamn pipe is not connected to the pump you idiot Ah! Oh my god, dog. <laughs> oh my friggin' war. Oh. Issue solved. Pipe is not connected. Ah. <sighs>
Very lovely. Very, very lovely to know that the pipe was not connected this whole friggin' time. Okay, so now that is used so just by a simple connecting of a pipe. Oh. That's, that's... I'm just so freaking pissed that I didn't actually realize that at the first time looking at it. God. Oh my god. I have been producing a few, but it's the pipe was not connected. Well, that was a very short build montage. Solve the issue of fuel not getting to the fuel power plants. Make sure your pipes are connected, guys. And there we go, it's filling up now. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, make sure your pipes are connected. Do I have a um, mod? I have. I don't have enough on me to actually upgrade this pipe to Mark II, so I'm not even gonna try. Um. Yeah, like it's maxed out the flow rate right now. There's three. I can't upgrade the flow rate if I get some more stuff. Two six. But yeah, fuel is finally coming in because I um oh my god. If I just slow see if people just slowing me there. This is slowly filling up. Me actually change this pump here to a Mark II. Um, I don't know if it's size enough, but it seems to be it's not the headroom is not an issue. I don't think. Well, it's really not an issue, but it should still be upgraded to a Mark II since it's one of the major pumps on the line. So. that the power line was connected to it we could find it there it is I go it's working um I can also some valves to help it flow so it doesn't flow back into the tanks anything that's coming out of these tanks would go one direction this way yeah so that the tanks the fuel would only flow one direction make sure this one is going the right way okay and there's a valve here that says it would only go in that direction like goes near the pumps limit start to go only up that way It's a valve on the end so valves are really useful especially in combining pipes and stuff so which i didn't really have earlier on while i was building now that i have it it's good um i am going to go back into a bit of a build montage uh huh. Um, but before I jump into the build montage, uh, a little bit of a build montage, I'm just gonna check. I know they are probably getting fuel, but these aren't, obviously. I think the fuel can't, it can't be backflowing though. 
just in case it is. Um, in case it is, I'm gonna put a valve just at the peak top of that, so. So, um, we're gonna do some stuff, gonna go back to the hub and then, not the hub, the Hyperloop main connection tower. And then we're gonna go across to the second floor, go upstairs, and then we're gonna go down to the Fixamus factory slash Caterium area where we're gonna slide down, get some, some of the, um, couple of sheets and when we come back we're going to pick up the plastics that's right below the hub and head back over to the fuel factory and upgrade the pipes to mark two so that the flow rate can be up doubled all right not up here slide down this little run pre-built i may have to empty some stuff from my inventory too yeah, like the random. I was on stuff. The random fix must event stuff that I still have in my inventory for whatever reason. A bunch of my CD in my inventory, don't ask why. Uh, just to be enough of that we're gonna go back to the main base get some plastics and then we're gonna head back over to the fuel power plant upgrade that whole line going to the uh oil refinery area which we sometimes call the oil canyon because it is technically a canyon where we do all the processing of the oil into plastics also into rubber and heavy oil residue which then turns into fuel um we are going to check where we can how we can actually implement the production of smoke glass black powder which needs the heavy oil residue i think if i remember right um yeah go down to plastic container Right, my truck. so if you guys enjoying this series so far um if you guys wondering right now it's about an hour and just over an hour into the recording session uh most likely you guys on youtube would see only maybe a 40 something minute video or 30 something to 20 something minute video usually i try to keep my videos to the minimum of a 40 something minute video if you see a video that's 50 something minutes long just know that that recording session was probably two hours long and there was not much i could have cut out of it uh you guys want to see the full um one hour long plus recording session as usual it will be asked available for my patreon members uh, okay, let's get into another build montage session where I upgrade the whole 
fuel pipeline from the oil canyon over there to the fuel generators across here uh yeah let's get into it Here it working. Oh, so why did I see that look like fuel? Oh, game lag. And I should initiate these bombs to work even harder to keep up with these six. Hundred flow rate. Moon. Now let's see. This one is almost half full of rate. Same here. It's, it's at least having a constant flow rate. Pump is working. Okay, so I think that's it for all the building. Uh, welcome back to our YouTube audience who just came back from a very weird film montage um, session. Oh uh, yeah, so we've fixed some of the issues in my design that I had, temporary design that I had of the pipelines that's supplying the fuel to the pipes. Uh, as you guys may know or may not know, gravity does affect the fuel flow in the pipes. So by having these higher up, even though it's going to take some pushing for the fuel to even get to the top, that's why I have pumps on these outputs. Uh, having it higher up here, once all of the fuel from these two get up here, it would obviously not flow back down because the pumps is preventing that it would then flow along this pipeline and then having this section lower would force the fuel to flow down 
here into this bomb which gives it a kickstart pushing it through these valves all the way to here still having the same initial kickstart then into another mark 2 pump kickstarted to the other mark 2 pump which also kickstarts it up the hill and the reason why the fuel wasn't being produced as fast as needed is because of the setup I had inside here where it was a friggin spaghetti me mess <laughs> so yeah we fixed that and now it's a decent setup gravity fed mostly all mark 2 pipes should be getting fed fuel decently that's open its butt off there's some in here it's there once it flows around here before this here was actually a bit of a not a bit of a dent if you want to put it that way it was a sink in the floor of the pipe so it was going down and then come back up which was weird so now i have that a straight pipe so it should flow straight and then go down is evenly into the other uh refiners that turn set into fuel i left an output here for the residue for when we're going to use the residue i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that probably gonna do that next episode we're gonna use the residue from that output there to create the smokeless black powder unfortunately we didn't, did not get to automate that because we had some issues with the automation of one of the main components for that uh component uh so yeah we had to first fix that issue before we even added that so if you guys enjoyed this episode it's been a very long recording session just over an hour and a half uh you guys would probably see most likely a 30 minute video you guys want to get access to the full as usual if you guys want to get access to the full one hour plus hours of recording i'd have a link in the description where you guys can get access in the patreon page just get my butt over here to get a thumbnail also guys thank you all for all the support on my channel all your subscriptions and comments over the last couple of years let's see it's almost five well it's over five years now 2018 if i calculate right it's almost five or maybe a little over five years of the youtube channel's anniversary so thanks to all you guys for all the support over those years of creating videos and so forth um yeah, and as I said, next episode we'll be seeing how we're gonna focus on the smokeless black powder, which is then going to carry us down the tech tree into getting. So, um, I'm back. Uh, I just ended the last the uh, end of the episode there, but I'm back before I before I end the episode. I'm just drop in this clip here um i just noticed we have in fact completed the last thing we needed for the last phase of the space elevator so before i end the episode i'm just gonna drop this in here um let's head to the space elevator and unlock that i just noticed just before i took the thumbnail picture uh so let's go do that quick here didn't want to do this off camera and you guys didn't see it so let's go do it almost there just gotta run to the space elevator then we can see what the space elevator has unlocked most likely oh we have done this so oh so i don't know what we're gonna have any use for these space elevator resources 
um maybe they add some stuff where you can use that for because i automated all three of them so hopefully we have a use for it okay it's ready seal it this has been five six episodes in the making not gonna last Last space elevator phase what wait okay so that alone says it i am so new to this damn shit it is not a phase what the hell is phase four okay so i was asking why we need these materials automated um yeah that clearly explains it holy frick what the hell is phase four um yeah so if you guys enjoyed that i'm just gonna run back to the harbor see what we unlocked and also going to take the thumbnail picture if you guys enjoyed that quick snippet back to my past self to end the episode the explosive rebar and then further along the line into nuclear weapons yes we are aiming for nuclear weapons now anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget if you're new to the channel new to the series satisfactory videos every saturdays at 10 a.m est obviously for it to be at 10 a.m est every saturdays the videos are pre-recorded usually on wednesdays or tuesdays so if you guys have any suggestions for next episode or any other episodes after that make sure to leave the comment before the wednesday most likely i'll check it and see what any suggestions or improvement you guys want to see done or any stuff that you guys figured out from playing the game yourself because i don't play the game that often I guys hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next one thank you guys for all your support i'm up peace Thank you.